everyone, Allison here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a geode peekaboo. This particular one is the uh, motherhood walk in the park tumbler that you've seen a lot of people do, but I wanted to try it with using only Crystal Act products. And guess what? I did it. So everything I talk about in this video will be linked down below. I used Into the Deep Chunky Glitter from Sass and Crafts. I used the Flippin' Awesome 3-in-1 in Coral Crush and Pure White. I used Bright Tone. And my tumbler, you can use any style that you like. This is a uh, modern curve from Stainless Steel Depot. So what you're going to do to make this cup is you're going to lay your chunky glitter and then you're going to get it fully smooth, right? Layer your bright tone till it's fully smooth. I'm going to link another video here on my best practices of doing chunky glitter because you must make sure it is fully smooth. Otherwise, you're going to be able to see the imperfections. Depending on the color of your glitter and the color paints you're going to use, you might need different amounts of layers, but don't be afraid to put layers over your vinyl. I have done several over different cups and pulled it up no problems. So once you lay the vinyl, you're going to do your paints. I did the coral, then I did the white, and then I did a layer on top of that of the white gloss to give it um, just a little bit better of a finish. I found that I liked it better if I did the the, the three-in-one and then the white gloss. If you don't have those, you can use the universal white, and then you can sort of make your own white gloss if you use um, the universal white and some bright tone and some white pigments mixed together, you can sort of make your own. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please comment below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and let me know if you have any questions. So the first thing I did was spray paint my cup that navy blue and then I let it uh, dry for 48 hours and I'm going to add my glitter by brushing on the bright tone. If, I'm gonna go through this process pretty quickly, so if you're new here and unsure of the specifics on how to add glitter, um, click up in the right-hand corner right now and head over to the Tumblr Basics playlist that I have and I go through this process with much more detail. So I'm brushing on my bright tone, I'm adding my glitter, and then I let it dry for four hours. After that four hours is up, I spray with E6000 pump spray let it spin for an hour and flatten my glitter by rolling it in parchment paper. And I do that three times. And after that, I just keep doing layers of bright tone until it is fully smooth, sanding every four layers. Unfortunately, I did not get the layering on camera because naturally it got messed up. So again, just do two milliliters per layer. You're gonna need quite a few over a chunky glitter, but that's why it's really important to seal and flatten as much as possible. So after it's fully smooth, you have to make sure it's fully, fully smooth, you're going to add your vinyl. I'm using Oracle 631 removable vinyl, and I just pick it up with my Cricut squeegee tool and add it to the cup. Um, I will also link my favorite transfer tape down below. You can just place these randomly. I bought this SVG on Etsy. so. Go ahead, I'll link that below, but you can just search like motherhood walk in the park or Jurassic Park SVG and you'll find it on Etsy as well. There's like a gazillion. So I'm just going to lay the vinyl wherever um, I want and I like to make sure it's pressed down pretty good. And then once the vinyl is fully on, I'm going to start adding my colors. So again, it's really important to get this fully smooth because if you don't, you're gonna be able to see all the imperfections on that first layer of your paint. So you wanna make sure that you seal it either with E6000 pump spray or clear spray paint and flatten it by rolling it in parchment paper and putting pressure on the table. And you're gonna do that a couple times. So the removable vinyl is nice because if you mess up, you can just peel it off and try again. It holds up really well um, under Crystal Act products. I haven't had any bleeding issues and I it works really well. So once I had my vinyl laid down, I'm doing a layer of the Coral Crush 3-in-1 paint. And I like to use this makeup brush because it gives me um, a really nice finish with no streaks. I'm gonna let this dry for four hours. I actually did two coats on this cup of this Coral Crush and I do not recommend that. Um, 
only because it made it a lot harder to remove it for the actual peekaboo part. So I did one, recommend one layer and let it dry for four hours. Once it's dry, you can add your uh, Flippin' Awesome Pure White. And I used a clean makeup brush. I really, really recommend the makeup brush application. Just gives it a nice smooth finish with no streaks. You can use Universal White in place of this if you do not have it. Um, I just really, really like the Flippin' Awesome paints. I think they just are literally perfect. Let it dry for four hours. So what I ended up doing for my second layer of the white was putting the number one white Craftnik pigment into some bright tone. And I did this instead of doing another coat of the Flippin' Awesome. And I really like how it turned out. So I just mixed in the number one white pigment and added it to my cup. And I, I don't know, I really like it. I was nervous about the thickness of the bright tone over the top of my vinyl, but it actually worked out totally fine. So once I got it coated about, I'd say two milliliters or so, I let it spin and completely dry. So I waited four hours. I actually think I might've waited overnight. I can't remember anymore, but definitely waited that full four hours. And then I moved on to remove the vinyl. And I use these um, tweezers to remove my vinyl and do all the weeding. I'll link them below. They're like my absolute favorite. They work really well. And as you can see, all the vinyl came up super easily. And that was with two layers of Coral Crush and with the white Flippin' Awesome, and with the layer of BT mixed with pigment. So in order to actually create the geode peekaboo part, I used acetone that I got from the grocery store by the nail polish remover. It says 100% pure acetone. And I just rubbed it away until it was gone. I did, it was tough, um, so just keep at it. But I clean, it kind of spread the coral, so I had to clean up the edges and then I made sure to go back and clean up um, with a Q-tip anywhere that just didn't look very nice and gave it a final wipe down over the glitter part so it didn't look cloudy at all. So I used a combination of like lint-free wipes, I used paper towel, and I used um, Q-tips. So it did take a little bit of elbow grease, I'm not gonna lie, but it worked and I used that pure acetone. So in the end, I think it turned out really nicely with using all Crystallac products. And I recommend doing that over spray paint because you don't have to let it off gas while you wait for it to dry. I hope this helped. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And make sure you comment below if you have any questions. Stick around and watch the next video.